Hi everyone, we are right around the corner of the new iPhone 17 launch and I know a lot of people will be upgrading their phone so I wanted to make a video on the best and safest way to transfer your data to the new phone and specifically WhatsApp data because transferring WhatsApp chats can be one of the most stressful and hardest parts of a phone transfer and especially for transferring between a Samsung and iPhone either the process gets stuck and you have to wait for like hours for it to work if you normally use WhatsApp to stay in contact with family and friends and maybe even for business this can be a long time or sometimes the data is even lost in the transfer process like you can see all these conversations on reddit with people having that issue and i know a lot of people keep really important conversations on whatsapp but i'm gonna show you how to safely transfer data to your new phone for this we're gonna be trying mobile trans and see if we can transfer the data any faster this video is in collaboration with mobile trans so i'm gonna show you how to use it this is a product used by so many professionals and organizations and they guarantee the safety of data transfer. Okay, so all we're gonna do is open mobile trans. This can be done on either a computer like my MacBook or you can also use the app on your phone. And then we're gonna go into where it says WhatsApp transfer. In addition to the WhatsApp transfer, we also have a phone transfer option. This is where you can find how to transfer data like contacts, images, videos, contact list, reminders, alarms stuff like that and then you also have a backup and restore option this is where you can do a phone backup here you can also recover deleted whatsapp data on android devices in case you have lost your whatsapp chats you can also restore itunes data here and best of all you don't need to format the device before transferring we're gonna go into whatsapp transfer so here you're gonna see all the available data you can transfer from one phone to another so as you can see it's not only messages that can be transferred it's also photos videos audio recordings i know a lot of people use was app to send audio recordings instead of messages and these can hold a really sentimental value for example if you have a child <laughs> sending real cute voice messages you obviously want to keep those with their cute little voice or if you have a grandparent sending you cute voice messages good to know is you can keep even stickers from your chats oh and also your files if you have uploaded important documents okay and then you can also see it says source and destination right now i don't have any phone connected so what we need to do is connect our old phone that we want to transfer the whatsapp data from and we're also going to connect the new phone and this is done with a usb cable so in my case i'm going to use usb-c And now we can see my iPhone 16 Pro Max just came up here on the screen. It's only going to take a few seconds until it says connected here. Now if you want to change the source and destination phone, you can just press the flip button here. And now we can see it's instead going to transfer to my iPhone. So now we just press start transfer and I'm going to show you an example of how fast this can be. They actually just came out with a new update. It's called Mobile Trans V5 and in this new version, the speed of WhatsApp transfer is 90% faster than the official solution and 67% faster than competing products on the market. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is it's gonna restore your old phone. So in this case, the iPhone 16e. And then this is gonna pop up. It says, please back up WhatsApp data. So you're just gonna follow the steps. You're gonna go on the phone and press settings, chat. You're gonna select never backup to Google Drive and then press backup. Next, you're gonna turn on end-to-end -end encryption on the Android device. So you're just gonna go to WhatsApp, press the three dots in the top right corner, select settings and then chats. You're gonna see chat backup here. You're gonna tap end-to-end -end encrypted backup and the turn on button. Then you're gonna choose use 64 digit encryption key instead and you are gonna generate this. And once it's done, you're gonna click the scan button and then you press continue on the encryption key page to the next step and choose I saved my 64 digit key. Then you press the create button to officially create your end-to-end -end encrypted backup. And finally you press the backup button. And then once it's finished, you press next. Okay, so now this should only take a couple of minutes. And once it shows you're done, you are gonna have to go and download the app again because it's gonna be restored. So you're gonna reinstall WhatsApp on your phone. So then you just press okay and you're done. That's the full process, it's super simple. So if you're looking 
looking for a fast option, this is really it. Even if you have a lot of data that needs to be transferred, it's still not going to take an unrealistic amount of time because honestly, transferring data in 2025 should not take 12 hours. While it's transferring, you can grab a cup of coffee and you can keep all your conversations flowing. You don't have to ghost everyone for 12 hours. It's so stress-free. So if you want to try it out, you can just click the link in my description. I hope this helped. I hope your new phone works well. Thank you so much for watching and bye!